Now we're going to move on to what is probably the trickier part of the helmet. These, uh, these side pieces here, you have to have a little patience with. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you see that there's a cutout right here for the snaps, right here. And this is going to be uh, the thing you're going to line it up with. This is going to be your kind of starting point to lay this piece out. So we're going to take this piece back. When we get to here, you're going to see this hole. Just keep your finger on it, pull past it, and then you see here how it's left over. That's what's going to help you. So you're going to line this hole up on this snap, and this sideburn here is what we're going to line up first once we get over the hole. And once we have that, slowly just check to make sure this is lined up right. This is pretty darn accurate. That's going to get pushed under. Let's just push slowly up to the top. Now we want to work from the snap forward over the visor. Again, start in the middle. Make sure there's no bubbles in this part of the Pro 7 in particular. It's got that interesting little curve there, so you've got to be a little aggressive when you push it down. Use your thumb as probably the strongest point. And just keep pushing that forward. Peel up when you need. Yeah, perfect. Just came out nice and centered, dead center on the helmet. Got lucky on that one, I guess. Uh, again, rework from the center and then work down. Get all those bubbles out if there are any. Okay, now you can peel this sideburn up. Make sure you get that just the way you want it. Oops, there we go. Keep it under your helmet there, under the face mask. All right, now from here, pull up just about to that snap again. And we're going to start in the center and work it back a little bit and then down and then up. Work it back a little bit more and then to the top and bottom. Get all those wrinkles out if there are any. And all of this stuff that you're seeing, you're going to just work out with your fingers. If you have any issues, again, you just peel it right up, put it back down. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. And you'll be that much closer to having your first head wraps installed. And as you can see, you do need a little patience with this, but after taking your time, that's pretty sweet lid, huh? So you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Keep an eye on it. We have a next cut in here, and that's where you're going to put your screws back in. So then you'll just screw this back down with your screwdriver at the end. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, it'll help take some of that alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and we're going to clean off this side of the helmet since we've been holding it a bit. Can't hurt to keep it clean. There you go. Again, we're going to start over the snap. Align that sideburn there. You can see that. Again, don't tack the whole thing down now. Just right around the snap. Nice and easy. Just tack that sideburn down. And then come up strong a bit across the top here. And now we're going to work this forward onto the, over the visor. And again, that, that funky little curve there. Be a little aggressive with it. We don't want bubbles. Heal up if you're not straight. You can kind of pull that graphic the way you want it a little bit. <laughs> so close. And there we go. Went down real smooth that time. 
and it usually will. And make sure you work up from the middle, just over that snap. Same thing from the snap, then you're going to work from the middle down. Take your time, make sure you really get the pressure on there right. Now we're going to start again at the back. I'm going to make sure that the sideburn here is down before we work backward. Right now it's looking pretty good. And again, from the middle, we're just going to work it backwards. What's well, lined up pretty good there. And then we're going to start working down and then up. Peel up a little bit. Start working this. See where you get something like that? You just pull it up and push that out. And keep that pressure on all these points you're pushing out. And that'll eliminate any bubbling that you may have. Again, go over the whole piece again. Make sure if you do see anything, peel it up, push it back down. And now we are almost there. Pretty cool. So, now we're going to get to the horseshoe. This one also requires a little time. So you want to really make sure that this is straight. And there's a few little tricks here. A tick mark in the back again, it centers the helmet, it's very slight, you can line it up with the one underneath it. And you want to make sure now, when you line this up, that your bottom line goes across, the bottom edge goes across the back of that helmet. Then it's going to come up these sides and overlap slightly on each side. It's important to take your time here and make sure that when you come up this insert, that this is just inside of that. You don't want it to overlap. And slowly work it out and along the bottom. It's got that nice little overlap. And that's it. You probably can't see it because there's black on black here. But this helmet overlaps right there comes right across and there's about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch overlap that's exactly what you want and again in here you want to make sure that there's nothing hanging off that edge of the helmet you want it to be just inside of that and you come over here and do the same thing on the other side again paying particular attention to this edge here and the bottom And there you go. You lined up, it's pretty sweet. I went down real nice too. So here you are, you got your slight overlap on this. Same thing on your other side. And now for the last piece, the back insert. This little guy. Last piece of the puzzle. It's going to have just a little room all the way around it. It fits in real, real easy. And again, you're going to overlap over these two top skunk stripes now to straighten all of that out. The last piece we have to install is the chin piece. This goes on real easy. Again, might be something you want to just clean the front of that with one more time. A little rubbing alcohol. Okay, take that chin piece, peel it off the HW84 graphic that you got. Now this we want to just put down gently at first to make sure uh, we're lined up right. As you can see, once you center it, it lines up real, real nice. 
And then they just come back to the middle. Work it out to the end. The thumb will probably cover all of it. And that gentlemen is the last piece of the puzzle. And there you go. Your first HW84 installed. If you have any questions, make sure you contact us. You can hit us up on our website, headwraps.com, on our Facebook page, or you can always contact uh, order at headwraps.com. Thanks so much for taking a look and checking us out. Um, sign up your team, come in, and we'll, we'll get